I'm doing a quick tutorial today about how to determine the scrap value of your gold jewelry, a proven method that I've used and it works extremely well for selling gold to scrap on eBay. Or if you take it anywhere to trade cash for gold at pawn shops, anything like that, you'll know the value of the gold before you even get there to make a deal. I'm not selling, but we'll pretend that I am for this tutorial. Let's get started. I have a bunch of 10 karat gold here that I got for free over the years and we'll be using that as an example for this tutorial. Just for some context how and why I learned this back when I was a teenager I had a herringbone chain that broke so I threw it away in the trash. I was young didn't know any better and this is back before the cash for gold craze where everybody was looking for junk gold pieces to trade for cash. So I didn't know any better not to do that. Just young and didn't know the gold game in general. Over the years, as I got older, I noticed I had a lot of broken, damaged, or unwanted jewelry accumulating in the bottom of my jewelry box. I'd have a pair of gold earrings, I'd lose one earring and hope to find it someday, so I'd throw the second earring in the jewelry box. In addition to the broken jewelry that added up over the years, it got to the point where I was moving from an apartment into a house, and I determined that I didn't want to bring any junk with me, so it was time to clean out the jewelry box. I decided to sell that gold jewelry that was broken or had a piece missing or whatever, and I decided to sell it as scrap. I had some earrings, chains, a high school class ring, and some other stuff to get rid of. By this point, I knew the gold itself had value, and I wanted to determine that value and sell it all by myself. Step one, you want to make sure that the pieces are real gold. That means solid gold, not gold plated or gold filled. You'll know either because you bought it from a reputable source or you acid tested each piece on your own and observed the stamps indicating the gold purity. Some jewelry, especially custom jewelry, might not be stamped. It also might help to run a magnet over this jewelry because if anything sticks to it, it's not real gold. For $13, and that includes the shipping, you can find an acid test kit on Amazon or eBay. Basically, you get a test stone, several bottles of acid, each with a specific gold purity indicated on the bottle, 10 carat, 14 carat, and 18 carat. You scratch the piece of jewelry on the stone provided in the kit. If you put acid on the scratch and it remains visible, it's at least that purity that's written on the bottle. So if I put the acid for 10 karat gold on the scratch and it stays visible, it means that gold piece is at least 10 karat gold. There's an acid for silver too, but we're just dealing with gold for this video. Step two, you'll need an accurate scale and a gold calculator that you can find on the internet. You can borrow a scale, buy a scale, ask to use a scale at the post office, or ask your local jeweler to weigh the jewelry for you. But it's a good idea to always have a scale at home anyway. They're cheap and you can find one for under $10. I calibrate my scale to make sure it's extremely accurate. That means my scale came with the weight and I can determine if the scale is accurate before I even put anything on it. No one will ever buy anything from me and the weight is off. It's impossible this way. The gold calculator is just a website that will tell you the current price of gold per troy ounce and it will calculate the value of the gold based on the weight and purity of the piece. The website will get the weight and purity of the piece from you. I use this particular website, but I'm sure there are others that work just fine. Now that you know the jewelry's real and you have your scale and your website, you can determine the value of the gold. So for this example, most of this is 10 karat gold chains that I got for free over the years. So we'll weigh all the 10 karat together. Once we get the weight of that, we can write that down. Next, we'll put all the 14 karat gold chains on there together and determine the weight of that and write that down. Then we're just going to add the two together. Now that you have the website pulled up, you can select the gold purity and type in the weight of the jewelry. First, we'll do 10 karat gold, and it will give us the value of the 10 karat gold. Next, we'll do the 14 karat gold pieces. When you add the value of the 10 karat gold and the 14 karat gold together, you can sell it as a lot of scrap jewelry on eBay. Keep in mind, though, that if you use the exact value of the gold as a listing price on eBay, that eBay is going to take a 9% or so fee right off the top, so you won't get that full amount. If you want more for your gold, you're going to have to increase your listing price on eBay. If you list the selling price too high, the gold won't sell nearly as fast or not at all. I guarantee you that if you sell it for the price that you get from this calculator, it will sell extremely fast. It helps to know this if you really want to get rid of something fast. 
I've done it in the past and it works. Even if you list a little higher than the price that this gold calculator gives you, there are people who will buy it fast if they see something they think they can resell for more money. For example, if I needed cash fast and I listed these chains, rather than listing for the value of the chains, I could list each chain individually and get a lot more money for them. Some people just want to spend less than they would spend on a new chain, but they'll still spend more than the value of the gold itself that you'll get from this calculator. The person who buys the gold from you might not want to send it to the refinery where it's melted down. Some might be jewelry stores or pawn shops that see value in it the way it is, and they will sell it intact for more money. Those people have the patience to let it sit on the shelf until they find someone who wants to buy it and wear it the way it is. This is all up to you and the choice is up to you how fast you want the gold to sell. And you can determine your listing price based on that. I only recommend selling as scrap, broken and damaged jewelry or pieces that came in a set where one piece is missing. I sold gold this way like my high school class ring. I can't imagine anybody who'd want to wear my class ring with my school name and my name on it. So that was the best way to go. No one finishes college and graduate school and wants to wear their high school class ring. Maybe they exist, but it's unlikely. So I sold that one as scrap too. If you choose not to use eBay and sell it yourself and you sell it to someone who trades cash for gold, it will also help to know what the gold is worth before you even go in to sell it. Just keep in mind that whoever buys it from you has to make a profit. So you probably have to deduct from that value of the gold itself. Whether you give them a fee or eBay or whether you're going to take a bit less than the full value of the gold, the price you choose depends on how quickly you want the jewelry to sell. Let's explore a few options now. I'll let you know what price I'd list this for if I was extremely desperate and what price I'd list it for if I had some more time and just wanted to sell it at some point. If I was desperate for money and really wanted to get the money for these chains, I'd list the gold at the price of the actual value of the gold that the calculator gave me, and I'd take a hit of the 10% eBay fee, pay the shipping and insurance, and I'd take the cash and run. That eBay fee is, is about 10%, plus you're going to pay a PayPal fee, shipping and insurance cost too. So the profit margin for these sales is about 85.86%, so we'll just round it up to 86%. So whatever listing price that you choose, you're only going to get to keep in your pocket 86% after you pay shipping costs and insurance and eBay costs and PayPal fees as well. Now, if I was patient instead and I wasn't desperate, I could list a seven millimeter rope as used in like new condition with free shipping for $4,500. The cheapest one I see available online is $4,830. So I'd list it for $4,500 so the buyer could save $330. Plus they'd save the $25 shipping for a total of $355 saved. And mine is a gram heavier than that one. So we can add that as a little perk too. If it sells, that means I'd have to wait for anyone who wants to save almost $400 who wants that specific size and length chain. If it sells after all the fees, I'd end up with $3,870. Then what I do is I'd list that wheat chain separate as well for $2,000. I paid about $2,200 so the buyer would save $200 plus the shipping cost of $25 because I'm offering free shipping. So they'd save $225 on that chain and I'd profit $1,720 on that sale. If you add this $3,870 for the rope chain sold separately and the $1,720 for the wheat chain sold separately plus the scrap 10 karat gold that sold but $753, it all equals $6,343. You guys get the general idea and you can see how the desperate version yielded me less profit and I could get more than the $6,343 if I was more patient and sold each of the 10 karat gold chains individually as well. I just don't want to do the math on each one of those chains for you guys in this video. In a future video, I'll value my entire collection for you guys but I have a lot more to show you first. This was just a fraction of it and the total collection value is off the chain. I know that was a lot of math. Sometimes I was rounding the weights up, sometimes down, but you guys get the point. The cable links were actually 14 karat gold, not 10 karat. So I made a few errors in the video, but you guys get the gist. 
I hope you found it helpful. I also forgot to mention if there's stones in the jewelry, diamonds, for example, you should subtract the weight of the stones. A good rule of thumb is that five carats equals a gram. Unless you have a lot of stones in there, just don't worry about it. Nothing about this has to be that precise. If you list on eBay, just itemize the weight and purity of each piece and describe the stones if you know what they are. Take good photos. I'll leave you with actual emails I still have from 2011 when I listed some scrap gold that I sold on eBay. I checked the gold price history and the price was apparently $1,795 an ounce back then. I made over $400 getting rid of gold that I didn't want. The good thing about gold jewelry is that if you ever go broke, you have the security of knowing that the dollar is based on gold and someone will always be willing to buy gold no matter what. If this was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more jewelry videos. I'm gone until the next one. Peace.